Hello traders and welcome back to another Funded Trading Plus video. In the last couple of videos, we've been walking through how to use the DX Trade platform and the Match Trader platform. In today's video, I'm super happy to bring to you the Trading View overlay for DX Trade. This has been a feature that has been requested since we launched DX Trade and it is finally here and I can't lie guys, it will not disappoint. A few things to address before we carry on is this is not your typical trading view where you'd, where you'd sign into trading view website and log into a broker account. You're going to be doing all of this via your DX Trade account. So that's the first thing to address. And the second thing to address is stay tuned as we will be releasing a video on how to use a trading view overlay via the mobile app too. That is in uh, development and that will be coming soon too. But to start off with, make sure you're signed into your DX Trade account. It will look a little something like this. And if you go to your tools panel, you'll see that right now there is no trading view overlay. So what you'll have to do is paste the link that is sent to your email address with your DX Trade account. And you'll see that it has a special URL which mentions trading view equals true. Once you've added that to the URL, click enter and go back to your tool section. So we're in your tool section now, you'll see that there is a trading view overlay. So you'll click on that and then there we go, we've got the trading view overlay. So let's run through this. For those of you who know how to use trading view, happy days, your job's done here. Feel free to just enjoy using trading view overlay via DX Trade. But for those of you who'd like to learn the basics and learn how to execute trades, please stick with me. There will be chapters on the video, so just skip ahead if you know bits. But yeah, we're just going to try and cater for everybody's needs here. So first things first, let's make this full screen while we're setting everything up. So you can just click this little icon here. And uh, yeah, there we go. So we're full screen now, guys. And the first thing we can see is that we're on the uh, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar um, chart. So to change this, all you do is come to the search icon. You can type in, for example, BTC USD for Bitcoin. You can click on that. And now we're on the Bitcoin chart. To change time frame, you can go over across here where it says uh, one minute and change it to whichever time frame that you'd like. So in this case, we'll go for the one hour time frame. Again, as Match Trader and DX Trader, you can change it to bars, candles, lines, loads of variations there, but we'll just stick with the candle chart. Indicators. So this is not the public library that you get on the TradingView website, but there is hundreds of indicators here to choose from. So if there's any indicators that you use to trade, I'm pretty sure that they will be in this library. Um, if you come over here, you've got the chart layouts. You can have anywhere from one chart all the way to eight charts on screen. You can customize them all. I'm pretty happy with just the one on the chart. So for the purpose of the video, we'll just stick with this. If you go to your settings, the chart settings, you can customize it. That's the beautiful thing about the training view overlays that you can customize your chart to have it whichever way you want. So if you want it to go all crazy, you can do, but we'll just keep it basics. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it really. Um, trading, obviously you can mess around with all of these, the canvas, the scales, status lines, the trading. So if you want to see executions on chart, you can have them. If you don't, you don't need them. Perfect. You can also take screenshots of your of your charts and stuff. So like just like you would on the normal version, you can take screenshots of your chart. If you've taken a good trade, a bad trade, to then add to your journal or to share on social media, depending on the uh, kind of person that you are. On the left-hand side here, you've got all of your tools. So you've got your lines, you've got your Fibonacci retracement tools, you've got your drawing tools, text, everything that you need. So feel free to run through all of these tools on the left-hand side. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much exactly how it is on TradingView. So now comes a bit that everybody's been waiting for. How do we place trades on the TradingView overlay? So let's, it's very straightforward, very simple. So let's just get started. So let's say that we wanted to buy or go into a buy trade on this BTC USD um, market. All you do is set up your long position risk to reward ratio. Um, so let's say, for example, our take profit, we want just above these highs and our stop loss, we'd like just below this low. Perfect. So we've got our RR tool there set up up we can right click that and then you'll click on create limit order so click on create limit, uh, limit order and this is how we'd set up a pending order so all you need to do as you see now we've got our trade panel here where it says usd risk that's where you can input how much you're willing to risk on this specific trade so for me this is a fifty thousand dollar account i'm looking to risk one percent of that account currently it's risking 234 dollars we'd like to risk 500 dollars. so we'll input 500 dollars there and it automatically adjusts your lot size to make sure that you are risking no more and no less than $500 for that trade. So that's perfect. So if we wanted to trade a limit order, we just press buy. And there you go. You see all the levels, they'll come up on screen. You can see your take profit where you'd set it, your stop loss and where your entry is set at too. So that is how you'd set a limit order. And once you got triggered, 
Um, you, as soon as your le- that level got triggered, you'd be in the trade, and that's exactly how you'd set up a limit order. So let's say we wanted to uh, enter the market directly and not have to wait until price reached a certain level, and we just wanted to enter. All you'll do, you do the same again. You'll right click create a limit order, you'll be back in the trade panel um, and instead of using the limit order, we'll go to market order and we want to, we want to buy this market. So same again, the USD risk right now is asking us to risk half a percent, approximately $242, but we want to change that and risk 1%. So we'll put in 500 US dollars there and we're going to click buy. Okay, cool. So now we're actually in a buy trade. We're just going to get rid of these notifications. I don't know if you heard the cool little jingle that it plays you too. You can you can turn off that jingle in the settings tab, um, but some people do like it and I don't really mind it too. Um, so to see that you're actually in the trade, all you need to do is go to show panel icon at the bottom right of the page. And as you can see now, we are currently in a trade, um, which is nice to see. So yeah, we're currently in a trade. Um, BTC USD 0.18 lots nice so a question we get asked a lot is how can you scale out of positions so if you want to take a partial on this trade how do you scale out of positions okay so this is what we do so you go to cancel order yeah so that is so but basically you get rid of your take profit there's other ways of doing this but this is probably the easiest way of doing it so say say if you wanted to close half of your trades um, at one to one risk reward ratio all you do is adjust where you'd want your take profit. So in our case, it'd be here. You'd right click on the screen. So right now I'm gonna right click on the screen, uh, trade, and we're gonna have a sell limit here. And then we're gonna, cause we entered a trade at 0.18 lots, we're going to have half the position close at 0.09 lots. So we're gonna have that sell limit placed there. As you can see, that sell limit is on the screen now. So if price were to hit that level, it would close half of the trade that we're currently in. So now we'll go back to our one to two risk to reward ratio and input another sell limit. So what do we do? We go to trade, we right click, go to trade, sell limit 0.09, we click sell. And then right now, that's the second take profit and that would close the remainder of your trade down. So just to recap, we're in a 0.18 lot trade because we're risking $500 of our account. Take profit one is a 0.09 sell limit. So if price were to hit that, the trade would, half the trade would close. And if you price were to carry on and hit our second take profit, price would close the full amount of the trade. Remember, if you wanted to move your stop loss, to either halfway, all you need to do is drag drop, press modify order, and then move stop loss to break even, same again. Click, drag drop, modify order. Um, simple as that guys, really is as simple as that. So we'll close this trade down and you can close a full position down by clicking on it. Make sure to remove your sell limit orders if you're not in the trade anymore. Um, but yeah, that's how you take partials on this trading view overlay. Quite straightforward once you get your head around it. You don't need to take partials, but for those traders who do, that's as easy as it gets. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. If there's any other features that you'd like requesting, please let us know in the comments. We'll do our best to to pass that along to the developers. Um, if there's any, any pointers that I've not actually explained properly in this video, please let us know. We will reply to all of your questions and comments in the, uh, in the comment section down below. We hope this video is useful. We hope this um, improves and helps, helps your trading massively. Um, so yeah, for now, guys, thank you for the support over the last couple of weeks. Uh, stay tuned for the mobile app release, uh, how to use a mobile app version of the TradingView overlay. So yeah, for now, guys, thanks a lot and I'll uh, speak to you soon.